So in order to get writing some JavaScript, you're going to need something on your computer that will actually take the JavaScript code and actually tell the computer what it needs to do. And luckily for us, though, JavaScript runs pretty much everywhere now. And luckily, because it's a web development language, you can pretty much run it in any browser from what we call the developer tools. So in order to write a bit of JavaScript, all you need to really do is open up the developer tools for your particular browser. I'm using Chrome here. And you'll find an inspect or developer tools option present, which allows you to do many fascinating things. But if we go over to the console, here you have an interactive JavaScript environment where you can actually write any JavaScript statements. And the result of the statement will be repeated back to you. So the first thing that most new programmers do with a new language is the hello world program, which is literally just displaying the text hello world back to you. And here you can see I've written a JavaScript statement which has just printed hello world back to me on the console in Chrome. And if you're using a Mac, there's something you can use which will make writing your JavaScript even easier, and it's a program called RunJS. So if you literally go ahead and Google the term RunJS, and the first result that comes back is a project uh, which basically allows you to run JavaScript directly on your Mac. So if you go ahead and download that onto your Mac, uh, you can actually run JavaScript right on your desktop. So the program itself, once you've installed it, it looks a little bit like this. So we can actually just write in our Hello World JavaScript statement again, and you can see the result is printed out on the right-hand side for you. So go ahead and use whichever you feel comfortable with. Obviously, if you haven't got a Mac or if you don't want to use the RunJS program, you can just do it on the console of your browser just so that you can see the JavaScript statements that I'm typing in. So before you start the next lesson, make sure that you know how to run some JavaScript and try that console.log hello world. And when you're ready, you can move on to the next lesson.